Hello guys, my name is International Ming Lee and here we are again in my channel to play a bit game. So the format is like I will play a 10 minute game, I will try to invite randomly and then basically I will try my best to explain some things going on in the game, some con some kind of concept that little chess, my thinking process as well and also trying to provide some questions along the process. <coughs> You guys can feel free to ask questions for sure and feel free to you know see things if, if you want to basically like ask if you see that and if you don't understand that clearly sure <coughs> so let's start the first game let's start a game here obviously and also let's make sure that you guys can own benefit from this 10 minute game starts <coughs> Okay, we're playing white and this dude here. That seems to be really tough. We're playing a guy like 2000, already 2000 here. That's not easy at all, actually. Let's play d4, I suppose. Okay, d4. e5. Ooh. England, right? England or England or. Actually, I'm not so sure about the way to pronounce it. But England Gambit. This one seriously reminds me of Rick Rosen again. Elon Gambit. I know Elon officially, I just don't know how to pronounce it correctly. <coughs> Normally here is a white England, in England, England, okay. D5, indeed. C5, okay, so he didn't move. Really move. This is like different ideas of the England actually. You can play this one as well, but this is rarer, I suppose. Knight f3, developing, or d6 here, okay, d6. This is quite familiar though. And then there's something like this one, and then like this one, right? In the future, right? This is quite, I think, can be seen a lot of time though. Knight c3. So here's of the queen d8, and I think it was fine with the pawn e5 though. Knight e7. Okay, so take here, right? Take here, here, and d7, shape 2. Actually, now I think it's a bit different though. Go here. The thing is that now castles take here, and then my bishop is def I mean, knight is defending the queen in, like already, right? Different to the original trap. Since now my knight is defending the queen. So that's not this way, that's not like this, right? Okay, so now we seem to be up a pawn here and the development is not really bad. You know here, so e4 can be playable for sure. I think I will play e4 actually. Grab a center and also trying to restrict the knight on e7. Okay, this one. Here, so we can have two different ideas about like short castles or long castles. You can even go like bishop to g5 and then queen d2 and castles here. This is fine for sure. If you want to go for some like complex position, I think you mess up somehow. Like I think this is not the really correct concept. Nice c3, so you must play something like I think it must be nice c6 or something like that. Bishop g4. I forget that actually. But obviously he seems to have some I can say counter play, and we need to be careful. Right? Obviously, it's not really easy like that. Okay, I will still play bishop g5. This one. Developing the bishop, and at the same time, pin this knight. F6. Okay, I will regard this one as a bad move. Not only it seems to be a bit, I mean like, you know, a bit weakening, but also it allow us to go for this one with checks, right? When you can develop a tempo, you can you should seriously consider that. Switch four, and you can see that right now we are even up in development compared to him, right? Compared to him. So now we are. I can safely say that we are up a pawn here, with a good position for us. Sure, you understand? Castle is fine though. I'm just considering about the options to go for the attack with castling like this. I think he's idea like this way and this way in the future for sure. Okay, let's go this one I think. This one here. 
I think it's showing the bishop here is fine and also trying to open up the h file for us. If you play here, so take here and then his pawn structures will be seriously ruined. Bishop b4, this is surprisingly for me though. Text sexual text here. Now we have a pawn, so on the card, uh, exchanging is good for us. Castles. So now we escape from that and we have a pawn here. I think for free in the position. I think he messed up somehow in the opening. I will try and mention things later. Obviously, I know some trap by Rosen. But this is not the way to do it. Okay, now guys, what do you should do here? Obviously, now you see that now you need some move from move to finish the development, right? And your upper pawn as well. So I think rook d1 obviously is a good idea. I think I will risk rook d1. This rook maybe to e1 here and e5 can be a good idea. You understand me? If I'm talking so fast, so please tell me so that I can try and slow down myself. Sure? I think now he's in world trouble. Okay, 97. Okay, so now I think let's play h3 first, trying to get rid of this bishop maybe, and then let him decide what to do with the bishops. Okay, the idea is like this. If you play bishop c7, you know, the bishop c7 here, and the rook c8. And the bishop on g4 is to defend this, bishop, this knight on d7. That's why I play h3 first, to set him small traps. If we decided to maintain the pin here, right, we have this move. And that's winning material for us. You see? Take so here, so take here for sure. This shows coming from the Pittsburgh team, the Pittsburgh Pawn Rebels team, where I play for three years ago. Okay, now we five. So now, okay, guys, what I, I think now should be a good idea to play bishop e2, right? If you play like bishop b3 here, so you drop the pawn. And if you play here, so you take here and then. Not only this quest like work for your knight here, also the most important thing is that the bishop, different color bishop, is always like drawish. If you can, please refrain from doing that. Sure? Should we too? No, no, no. So it's like a very bad portion of mistakes. I will talk like about that clearly after the game. A6. F4, right? F4. Time for us trying to start to explain with the pawn in center, right? You understand? Now, if I can be a way to play or like, you know, in the future, we can even prepare for that first. I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of, I think like, boxing, yeah, boxing, right? Boxing. So I'm not really sure I know all of this stuff. 96 okay i re i kind of re i mean i can guess that he want to play something like bishop d6 next i guess so that's why i was paying a tempo for this move king g2 to like the king f3 here to defend the spawn on f4 also the king f3 is quite safe as well so there's no problem with that in the future some idea can contain like this way this way Get the knight out here and then starting to open up my bishops. This one, okay, I mean, like, it seems to be fine. And you know, the idea here obviously is trying to make my pawn structure become weaker, right? But this actually is a mistake. Since now I got the bishop pair here, actually, this is very, very strong. b5. Okay, time to make it safe. I think this is actually a good move here. But I will simply play the normal stuff. H4. H5 to spend even more in the king side. I don't know. I mean, his, his play is fine, not really bad though. But obviously, he can make something better for sure in the process. Okay, guys, and now this is a very strong move. I want to mention here. A very nice move, actually. I don't know if it's like a pass. Okay, I don't know. I think let's play something different. Actually, I'm mentioning f5 though. I think f5, okay, let's go f5. 
the idea of five actually is like open up the bishop here and also trying to restrict this midnight and f8. It's nice too. But basically, this idea, I mean, this f5 also have drawbacks that it somehow block this bishop here. So I am trying myself to think about that. I mean, e5, e5 is bad. e5 allow like knight e5 here in f5, right? And you somehow you release this knight on e7. And so e5 is not so good. You understand? This sounds like Wesley is a young kid. You know, I think Wesley is only a few years old above me though. b4. Okay, actually, now c4 is fine though, but I have something even better. I will play this one here, c4. And now, as I mentioned, the bishop now has been opened, right? Guys, okay, so now, what can you do now to win the pawn by your opponent? Can you do now, actually, right now? I agree. Now, this is a very strong move, this one. With the idea to have the bishop control this diagonal. But this just is better. This one. Attacking this knight right. Spawn here. And you see this two knights is very very passive. And that's when we simply take material leading. You understand me? You will simply understand this rank of bishop pair here. Bishop before obviously. Now the idea is like this one. And bishop e7. Like that. Nice bishop, actually. Yes, it is. Nice bishop. I think you can see how hard it is for black to get out of his bishops. I mean, his knight, right? <clears throat> First of all, you take on a2 now, we can take on d7, and we play this one, right? Second, there's no way you can take on the 8th. You play here first, right? So you take here and then no, there's no this one. And then now obviously there's no ticking. You understand? Okay, now actually. Now you see that your pawn and your bishop are on attack at the same time, right? How can you defend both? Guys, how can you defend both? <coughs> Yes, A3 is good. A3, defending the bishop as well, and also, like, you know, you see how connected your pieces are, right? Rook E8. Once again, quite tricky stuff. He wants to play knight 5 now. Not, 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 not really strong, though. I can't even try him with that. Okay, let's try him with this one. Rook 6 I see an f5 now, but take here and go group d8. Also now, I think this is wrong and also I want to activate my rooks. Attacking this pawn here and go for this, you know, this way. You understand me? He want to go for the tricks. But still it's not working. His knight is so bad. The knight is just not allowing him to do anything since it is just really, really passive. If you go like you know, if you go knight here actually, I know that you know he wanted to do something to get him out of the danger, but suddenly, I mean, his position doesn't allow him to do something like that. Suddenly, right? And now we win three pieces. You see, basically, you know the complete, I can say, the complete, you know, like. Positivity requires him to do something like to get out of that, but simply cannot. Take here. Okay, guys, a small question here, which is quite easy. How can you play for white now for the winning attack? It's quite easy though. We can try to push the pawn, we can try and do everything, but basically. His king is in such a cage, right? So now, time to finish. You can play both here actually. But with rook and f8, doubling here is the de death for him. Liquidate is fine. But when his king is weak like this, liquidation is not really strong. Rook e1. Both of them are fine. Both of them are fine actually. 
and this is disastrous. No way he can defend against this one, and that's it. The end. C5. You see, we don't even need to care about C5. Who care about the bishop? Who care about bishop? Right? This idea is super strong. That might just like simply go for this. Do it. Right? That's when thing be coming over. This is over right now. G5 on the move. And that's made afterwards. Guys, finish your opponent now. Finish your opponent now. Beat him. Beat him. And he hello Shipotov. Think long time to see you here. Long time to see you here, buddy. I see the mid here, so I will try and stall here. White to play in mid, black. Let's go. <coughs> on P on peasant. <laughs> that, that sounds funny though. In crescent. I mean, guys, that's not about food, bro. I think actually Croissant is like the food from, I mean like the pie from France, right? Yeah, the pie from France actually. Okay here, so basically Rook H8 is not a mid. You see here, right? The king can get out, king here and here and king here to escape. So that's why you have a really nice mid. With and thank you video game pianist for the red. Wow. How much red we have today right now? How many reds today? Three already. Thank you for the red guys. And hello guys, my name is International Minley here. And I'm trying to make some repeat game and make some, I can say like, I can simply tell you that like some speed run. And something to help my viewer to be better at chess. And yeah, I hope you get a good stream earlier. Thank you buddy for the red. I highly appreciate that. And this is the end, right? This is the end. I can't remove this one. Oh my gosh! No, now he's stalling. Now he's stole me though. Oh my gosh! Now he's stole me. Oh dear. Yeah, he's a red, red, red watch actually. Red watch. Uh, I think a very, very I can say entertaining content. You know, playing piano while playing chess. That is great though. That's great. <coughs> Okay, now he's stalling me for sure. I really gotta believe that he will simply let game to death. Yeah, I think he will wait for three minutes to finish. Both are fine though. Both are fine. You can do this one for, if you want to. If you want to rest one, right? It doesn't make any difference though. Okay, I will start analyzing here. I will start analyzing here actually. I think he was tough for sure. Okay, guys, so let's come back to the first. Okay. Come on. Twenty points, this is insane actually. Sorry buddy. Sorry my friend. And thank you for the game. Okay guys, so before we talk about the game here, I will come to the Come to the I think analysis and you know I'm talking about the opening here. First of all, I want to see my I can say accuracy percentage. And guys, I think the Rosen trap is like knife three and f three here. Okay, it's really it's not, it's not really smooth. Not really bad actually. Have played some bad thing here. I can say some inaccuracy here actually. But we'll talk later about that. If I do five fifty five here, oops. Knife three, d6, okay. Let's see three. You know here actually, I think he switched something like I think that this one here, right? This way. Right? I think this is a trick from Russian. Is that correct? And this way. If I was Thomas Dickinson, this is called a rich Rosen trap. 
<coughs> is that right? <coughs> I don't know, basically, the rich trap, oh, that's nice. Basically, you know, again, this trap. Actually, England, I'll show you one moment. England pronunciation. England. 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 Okay. England. Okay, England. Okay. Remember that. So basically, I like this way. I mean, like, you know, hey, guys. So basically, what I can mention here is that if you meet if you meet this kind of thing starting with the inland like this you can simply play d6 like this one right i mean take here actually we can play this one first actually why strong not the things that not only you can develop pieces but also you can defend the queen for some countries kind of later sure and also now we take here so we take here right and here we take an e5 and you up a pawn for free right so you don't need to be worried about worry about own cut up like traps for black so this nice c3 is like a real good move here you understand me so if you play against the inland just remember that black actually is like 2000 like like 2000 here so i think the game might be a bit i can say you know important to, to learn so you know here so i think in the game so this is already good for us i will try mention things on things later okay here let's come to the game here and let's come back to the game like this so that is the trap that's the trap i mentioned earlier so you can simply like avoid that by playing like nice three here sure like this 97 now obviously since now I think you can see that right here if you play here right you can simply take the knight queen e1 knight e1 and there's nothing like this right and it is disastrous for him here we can even play something funnier with this one and obviously we win tons of material in the opening right when things becoming so so smooth obviously right obviously obviously So now, let's see 3, 9, 7, text. In the game, bishop is here, and e4. I think now it has been quite clear that the opening... <coughs> the opening has become, I can say, an unsuccessful attempt for black. He gave me a pawn for nothing though. For nothing though. And now, you know, basically I can develop as well. And obviously, it's a good thing for us. Sure? That's all. Bishop g5 here. Now, this is the trap in England, though. In England. This is here. And this is bad for sure. I mentioned earlier, right? It allowed me to go for this. And it's not really a good thing for him. Check tempo. Here. Switch 4. Liquidate his priest from bishop on d6. It's my ideas here. G4, this one. Obviously, if you take here, right, take here, we'll take with h pawn, right? And you know, there are some pressure on like this, right? Which is pretty fun for us. F6 actually is not good here since the, it allowed me to develop with tempo. This way. This so should be 4, takes, takes, and castles. So now you can see here the good position. Although it, I mean, we have a pawn here. It seems to be that he can take some like knight here and make our pawn structures becoming weaker. But then we get bishop pair, which is pretty nice. And this strong pawn in center, which is pretty good for us as well. Right? C6, defend the pawn c7. Troop AD1. And 7 good. H3. But this move here, so I set up a small traps. Small traps. If you play maintain this one here. Guys, I do talk about this one in the game though. 
But now, what can you do? What can you do now for white to win material? Okay, then I will try to answer the questions later. What can white do now to win material, guys? one right and then you see that you're taking the rook which is like different in the night and obviously the pressure along the default allow us to win the material right okay that's it so you win material by frogs here at least it's changed you understand okay so about the you know about the double pawns you know I can say that it looks quite ugly I agree I agree. But basically, you are having some competition for that by this very strong bishop here. You see in the game, right? This is an open position. And the bishop pair here is such a strong fox. Right? I agree that it's not really beautiful in things. But you're up a pawn, right? You're up a pawn here, up a pawn here. And the bishop pair is just so so strong. Correct? A5 should be 2. A6. A4. Not here. I agree that F5 actually is better. King G2 actually is a bit modest. F5 is pretty nice. Since my knight A5 here, we can't even go F4. Another pawn on the back. Right? And like, you know, prepare for some this one. Or like King G2 E5 later. And this is even more beautiful. I'm trying to explain all my stuff. So there's no more music, there's no music for sure. You know, I'm trying to be a good coach. I'm trying to be a good coach. And hopefully I am. Hopefully you can understand what I'm talking about and you can simply benefit something from my lessons. Okay, can you too? We should see three here. You can see now that my pawn structure looks quite weak, but obviously, we should play strong. Guys, okay, you know, basically, I think this might be a bit different stuff, but let's simply try to flip buffers, first. Guys, if you're black now, if you're black now, what can be the best attempt you can play here for black? To restrict the bishop here. What can be the best attempt here to make to restrict the bishop pair? <coughs> this move needs to be understood clearly. Yes, f5 exclamation mark, this one. A very important move. Why? It blocked this bishop. This one on e2 actually is hard to prevent him. But this pawn on f4 is weak, right? So now by this one here, so you simply prevent this bishop from getting out. And then you can simply try and go for this one maybe. At least like block this bishop. And prevent him to get into the game. You see? And that's his idea here. That you need to restrict the bishop pair. For sure. In the game, b5 is such a terrible mistake. That allow me to get out f5 actually h4 is better again but now i think it's a bit different though since not f5 you can play h5 and you can get out with this f5 is worth allowing e5 you know e5 here okay let's say e5 here right and guys i think i have answered this question rust say earlier in the game e5 is the move is not really good and not what I want to do. It allowed Black to get out this knight. And now actually it is you, this is White, who need to be careful. 
right? Now, if it is fine though, I mean, like, obviously, this kind of, I mean, move is fine since, like, you know, enough of this way. But basically, basically, this is much stronger since, like, I think it can make a pawn right away. Nothing we can do to defend both, right? The thing is that for the knight, you need to make sure you are restricting him and do not allow him any square to, to jump in. You understand me? B5, H4, F5, now still is not working anymore. Got these ideas here. Available. A5, H5. F5. F5. <coughs> I think you can see here clearly that now I I kind of like restricting on of the square for the knight, right? On the square for the knight here. On the square for the knight. And now they are like dumb, dumb shit actually. Nothing he can, nothing he can do to the knight. He can jump to nowhere, and obviously this one, I this one again, right? Again, and yeah, that looks so sad for him. In the game before, attacking thing, okay, here, here, three six here, and we got the double attack. We need a pawn here, and we get the bishop into the game, right? B seven should be four. Text. B seven a three. Okay, guys. To able, I mean, to yeah, I think enable to make you understand my lessons fully. If you play this move, knight seven here. What can Y do now in this position? What can Y play now in this position? I want to ask a question to make you fully understand my lessons today. And to tell you, and to let you see how bad the person of black is. By knight 7 you must un you must be able to understand why he played knight, knight 7 The idea is knight g5, right? Get the knight out of the cage. But let's be brutal. F4. And then his knight here actually can move, cannot even move here, right? You need to come back. Knight g5 cannot even work here. You see? And then his knight once again is getting completely bad and actually really really passive. You see? You know? I can tell you that. Funnily enough, the best move here by the engines is nice G8. It's nice G8. This is the best move here by the engine. And look at this. Look at this knight. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Right? I think I don't even need to tell you about how terrible it is. Right? Oh. Very, very sad for the knight. What a sad finish. Yep, I mean, like, yeah, the knight shield is like a really good defender for the good defender for the king. Sully it is. In the game, so to be it here, to be six. You know, the thing is that I see he got this move here, and I made a trick. I make a trick to be it actually. I mean, you can also play this one here for sure to get out of the an pin here, like potential pin here for sure. But since I see that knight five is a mistake, right? So this is a mistake. I simply take here, rook six here, and you know the trick him this one. Text, text, right, rook here, and now it's over for sure. He must go to this one, go like this one, actually, to kill the pawn, to kill the pawn here. But I can simply this way, and then here and here, defend the pawn here, and obviously this this twenty four first, right? But in the game, okay here, and this is the end. This is the end though. This is the end. Do you know how bad it is when the best move here from black by the engine is through F2? This one. Do you know how bad it is? When you see this best move for black. Suddenly. I mean this one is like the idea this way, and then he takes it upon. But I, I think obviously it's clear how bad it is for black, right? Pretty clear though. In the game, we got method here, and this is pretty fun as well. Mid. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so, any questions, love? Guys, any question for the game? Any questions for the game, though? Any questions from the game? Yeah, quite a brutal. I mean, like, in general, I can say that this is, like, you know, a fairly, I think, like, the way to refute the Alan. 
and also the way to play, I mean like to exploit the bishop pairs initiative. You understand me? That's like lessons we can learn from this game. Okay guys, so I mean like, you know, I will try to upload this on the YouTube later. But I really, really hope that you can find things like, you know, instructive from this game. Also trying to learn something and benefit something from my stream though. And you know, trying to basically, like, you know, yeah, like, understand analysis. Once again, really hopefully, like, it can be really good for you and something you can find it beneficial. So, stop recording for sure. Thank you.